टीम आर यूनिवर्स टाइम टू थिंक मेक अ नीट एंड लेबल्स डायग्राम ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम इन योर स्क्रैप बुक We have always been fascinated by the moon, the sun and stars in the sky. The universe includes the earth and all heavenly bodies in the space surrounding the earth. The universe includes everything that exists in the nature. Solar system. The sun is the nearest star to the earth. It is the main source of heat and light on the earth. There are 8 planets including the earth which move around the sun. Each planet moves around the sun in its own path called an orbit. The 8 planets according to their distances from the sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The solar system consists of the sun the eight planets and their satellites or moons and other heavenly bodies such as comets and asteroids asteroids are very small heavenly bodies made of rocks which revolve around the sun mainly between the orbits of mars and jupiter comet appears as a bright glowing ball with a large glowing tail the moon The moon is the only natural satellite of the earth. It revolves around the earth in 27.32 days. It is our nearest neighbor in space. It is 384,400 km away from the earth. It is the brightest object in the sky next to the sun. It has no light of its own. It shines because it reflects the sunlight. The surface of the moon is very uneven. It is a dry and dusty place covered with grey dust with plains, mountains and craters. Craters are huge ditches which were formed when huge pieces called meteorites crashed on the moon's surface. It has no air or water, hence no life exists on the moon. Phases of the moon When viewed from the earth the moon looks different at different times these varying appearances are called phases sometimes the moon looks like a full circle at other times it appears as only a thin slice or looks completely dark however the moon's shape does not change it just looks like this because it is away from the earth The moon reflects light of the sun. As the moon orbits the earth, the sun shines on different parts of the moon. This causes different parts to be visible from the earth. Man on the moon. Moon is our nearest neighbor in the sky. It has been studied more than any other things in the sky. The moon is the first member of our solar system which has been visited by the man. Apollo 11 was the space ship that took the first man to the moon. Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin became the first two men to walk the moon. Eclipses. The sun is a source of light. The earth and the moon are opaque objects made of solid rocks. When the earth or the moon comes in the way of the sun's light, they block the light and cast a shadow this event causes an eclipse the eclipses are of two types lunar eclipse and solar eclipse lunar eclipse a lunar eclipse occurs on a full moon night when the earth comes between the sun and the moon when the sun earth and the moon are in a straight line the earth blocks the light from reaching the moon and earth casts a shadow on the moon this causes a lunar eclipse the word lunar means moon when we cannot see the whole moon at all it is called a total lunar eclipse as the moon revolves around the earth it moves away and sometimes only a part of it is hidden by the shadow of the earth it is called a partial lunar eclipse solar eclipse A solar eclipse occurs 
when the moon comes in between the earth and the sun when the sun moon and the earth are in a straight line the moon blocks out the sunlight from reaching the earth and casts a shadow on the earth we standing on the earth cannot see the sun this is a solar eclipse like lunar eclipse it can also be total or partial for a total solar or lunar eclipse the sun the earth and the moon have to be in a straight line travel to space rakesh sharma rakesh sharma born on 14th january 1949 in punjab was the first indian to travel in space he was an air force officer he joined the indian space research organization he left for space on 2nd april 1984 was conferred the gallantry award ashoka chakra by the indian government rakesh sharma is now working as a part of a planned indian manned space mission kalpana chawla was born in 1961 in haryana she joined nasa national aeronautics and space administration in 1995 and was selected to be a part of her first space program in 1997 in space shuttle columbia on her first mission she traveled 360 hours in space her second mission on sts 107 took off on january 16 2003 on its return as the space shuttle entered the earth's atmosphere it caught fire killing all the crew members on board